Hello, welcome to the math district. In this video, we will graph the rational function y equals x over x squared minus 9. To graph this function, we have to find any x-intercepts, the y-intercept if there is one, any vertical asymptotes, and the horizontal asymptote if there is one. Then we will find some additional points, and using all this information, we will graph this rational function y equals x over x squared minus 9. Let's start by finding any x-intercepts. X-intercepts are any points where the graph crosses x-axis, and any point on x-axis has the y-coordinate 0. So in this function, we will replace y with 0 and solve for x. So x over x squared minus 9 equals 0. A fraction equals 0 only if the numerator equals 0. So the numerator in this case is x, x equals 0. So, we got the x-intercept, and that is x equals 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses y-axis. And uh, any point on the y-axis has the x-coordinate 0. Therefore, to find the y-intercept, we have to replace each x with 0. So, 0 over 0 squared minus 9. 0 divided by negative 9 is still 0. So, the y-intercept is 0. And this is what was expected, because the point with the x and y coordinates both 0 is the origin. So, let's plot this point in the rectangular coordinate system. Here we have x-axis, this is the y-axis, and here is the origin. Let's continue by finding any vertical asymptotes. To find any vertical asymptotes, we have to set the denominator equal to 0. So x squared minus 9 equals 0. We can solve this equation by factoring. x squared minus 9 will factor as x plus 3 times x minus 3. All this equals 0. A product is 0 if any of these factors are equal to 0. So x plus 3 could be 0, or x minus 3 could be 0. Subtract 3 in the first equation and get the first vertical asymptote x equals negative 3. Add 3 to the second equation and get the second vertical asymptote x equals positive 3. Let's draw these vertical asymptotes in the rectangular coordinate system. So the first one x equals negative 3 represents a vertical line that crosses x-axis at negative 3. So, we will make this line all dashed, because this is an invisible line that the graph will approach, but it will not touch it. And the second asymptote will cross the x-axis at positive 3. So, we will draw a dashed vertical line that crosses x-axis at positive 3. Let's continue by finding a horizontal asymptote. To find the horizontal asymptote, we have to compare the degrees of the polynomial in the numerator and the polynomial in the denominator. On the numerator, this polynomial has the degree 1, because the exponent of x is 1. The degree of the polynomial in the denominator is 2, because x has exponent 2. 
The rule for locating horizontal asymptotes says that if the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals 0. The line y equals 0 is the same as the x-axis, so let's make a dashed line along the x-axis. So far, we have two vertical asymptotes, one horizontal asymptote and a point that belongs to the graph. To be able to make the graph, we need additional points. We need some points to the left of this vertical asymptote, between these two vertical asymptotes, and then to the right of the right vertical asymptote. So let's start a table with additional points. The left column will contain the x values and the right column will contain the y values. To the left of this asymptote, we will need the points negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. So let's add them to the table. Negative 6, negative 5, and negative 4. When we replace negative 6 in this function, we will get negative 6 over negative 6 squared minus 9. That will give us approximately negative 0 0.2. When negative 5 is replaced in the function, we will get approximately negative 0 0.3. And when negative 4 is replaced in the function, we will get approximately negative 0 0.6. Let's plot these points and make the left side of this graph. The first point, 6 units to the left and 0 0.2 down. The second point, 5 units to the left and 0 0.3 down. The next point, 4 units to the left and 0 0.6 down. Let's connect these points. So when we connect them as we move down, the graph has to get closer and closer to this vertical asymptote, but it cannot touch it. And as we move to the left, the graph will get closer and closer to this horizontal asymptote, but it cannot touch it. Now let's get some additional points between these two asymptotes. For example, x could be negative 2, negative 1, positive 1, and positive 2. So in the table we will add negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. When x is negative 2, the value of the function will be 0 0.4. When x is negative 1, the value will be 0 0.125. When x is positive 1, the value will be negative 0 0.125. And when x is 2, the value of the function will be negative 0 0.4. Let's plot these points. 2 units to the left, then up 0 0.4. 1 unit to the left, up 0 0.125. 1 unit to the right, have to go down 0 0.125. 2 units to the right, going down 0 0.4. Now let's connect the points. As we move to the left, we will approach this vertical asymptote, and as we move to the right, we will approach this vertical asymptote. Now let's choose several points to the right of the right asymptote. For example, x could be 4, 5, 6, and so on. We will add these points to the table. So let's see, in the table we will have 4, 5, and 6. 4 replaced in the function will give us the approximate value of 0 0.6. 5 replaced in the function will give us the value of approximately 0 0.3. 
and 6 replaced in the function will give us the value of approximately 0 0.2. Let's plot these points in the rectangular coordinate system. 4 units to the right and then going up 0 0.6. 5 units to the right going up 0 0.3. 6 units to the right going up 0 0.2. Let's connect the points. As we move to the left, we will approach the vertical asymptote, and as we move to the right, we will approach this horizontal asymptote. So we finished graphing the rational function y equals x over x squared minus 9. I hope you enjoyed this video and check more lessons and videos at themathdistrict.com. Thank you.